Okay, back again. Previous video, I just did a review. Now this is the take apart video of the Pen Deluxe from 1939. I'm gonna be taking this reel apart and uh, cleaning it up. I'm not gonna say restoring it, but I'm gonna say it's more of a, a cleanup. Replace the drag washers, HD100 drag washers are gonna be put in this reel. Make sure all the parts are okay, nothing's broken or cracked. Make sure the springs are intact. What you need is a flathead screwdriver and a pen wrench. This will mostly cover most reels. Anyway, so I'm going to start with a large screwdriver, taking off the, uh, the little, little tiny uh, lock screw that holds the handle in place. Next, I'm going to be using our pen wrench. It is interesting that they made this not fit the all the new pens. Because it is from uh, 39, so that's interesting. This little nut fits the more modern reels, which that's kind of nice. It's kind of a testament of uh, how, how well the design's working out. They've been using this design since that time. The earlier ones, I think they had a flathead screwdriver or another means uh, of locking down the uh, handle. Next, I'm going to use our large screwdriver and take apart these screws. Again, it's not in the best condition, it's a little rough, but I'm okay with that. Because it is a fairly rare reel, so to find anyone that's in solid condition, that's not missing any screws, or it hasn't been replaced, it's all original, that's pretty rare to have. I am curious how they uh, secured that third cross post on the bottom. I'm not sure how they did it. I guess maybe they had a counter screw or something inside, but uh, we'll see. Again, I'm trying to line all the pieces up. I'm trying to get my fingernails, trying to open it up. I'm going to get a sharp screwdriver. I can try prying at it or something. So I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pry it very carefully. Try not to damage it too much. I might try on the bottom so if you scratch it, it's not going to be too visible. There we go. So that's how it's secure. I just use extra screws on the bottom. But overall, it's in pretty uh, nice condition. First time opening it up. Anyways, continue taking it apart. Yeah, they are well-built reels for the time. Look at some of the more modern reels. They have uh, computer graphics helping them out, but this one they probably hand-drawn it on a piece of paper. screws. Like I said, everything looks period correct. I'm not an expert in fishing reels. I just like to uh, collect them as my hobby. So we have a, I believe this is a stainless steel pinion gear. I think, I'm not sure. Those look like stainless. But again, I don't really see any part numbers right off the bat, so Everything looks original, as can be. 
This is our uh, clicker uh, spring for the anti reverse. Here's the dog. There you go. A little bit stiff. So here's our, uh, here's our wave spring. Move that out of the way. So wave spring. Okay, so it looks like we have these red washers. I'm not sure that's original or not, but generally they're more leather. Like I have a leather washer here to show you what they look like from other reels. This is off the bay head, my previous video. So these are the uh, leather washers, more of a soft. I think these are replacements maybe, or maybe a... Uh, some kind of tough plastic. But I'm going to replace these with the HD 100 drag washers. Kind of see they were kind of cracked. It's a lot of pressure to crack these ones. They're pretty hard. Anyway, let's take the bottom one off next. Okay, there's all the washers. I'm gonna get a, uh, a punch to punch that little pin out. So here's my little punch. I bought this at the hardware store. So I'm gonna do is a little pin located right here. I'm gonna push that out with my little punch. Make sure it's metal, not brass, because it will bend. There's the pin. That came out easily. And there we go. Like I said, pretty clean condition for its age. That will clean up really nicely. Okay, so that's that. Let's move the springs. I'm kind of making a little pile here. I'm not really going to be organizing this. So next I'm going to take off the, uh, the bushing. Yeah, and everything is not tight on this reel, which is nice. There's a bushing. It's kind of similar to that uh, bay head or other reels. Let's take off the, uh, the lever. Again, everything looks like in pretty nice condition for its age. I'm going to get that sharp screwdriver to remove this ring. So I'm going to push in the bottom here so that if I do scratch or chip, I'm not going to see it very much. 